Hi guys, got a request from Shah Fletcher to make a rubber band powered car that can move a mass of up to 500 grams out of a square, uh, a one meter square. Uh, you've got to start the car from outside the square, it's got to go into the square and move the mass out of the other side of it. Uh, I've done a similar car already which I'll put a link to, but I'll do this one new. There's no limits on what equipment I use, what components, so I'm going to combine it with one of my bargain store projects. What I'm going to do is use this letter tray that I've bought from the bargain store today for a pound. I'm going to use that as the chassis. I'm going to use this rod, or it's actually a metal tube, that also came from the bargain store from the gardening department. It's for uh, part of a tripod for putting tomatoes on. So that's a nice piece of metal, nice and strong. That'll do for the axles. I'm going to reuse these wooden wheels that I made for a different project. They're about the same size as a CD. In fact there's a CD as you see there. Well I actually cut cut them round a CD so they're that sort of size. But I'm actually a bit short of CDs at the moment so I'm going to use these and I'm going to combine them. I'm going to put two together so that I've got nice wide wheels and I'm going to put this is strips of rubber taken from washing up gloves. Use them as the tyres to give me extra grip. So I'll have nice thick tyres. So that's the back wheels. Front wheels, just some CDs that I've used before. Um, they've actually got rubber tyres on them but that will be irrelevant because they'll be the front wheels. So wheels, chassis, axle, and I'll also wrap some cardboard around the back axle to make it thicker to improve the gearing in case we're going to be pushing anything very heavy. And that's it. So I'll just drill some holes through here for the axle to go through. Drill a hole at the front there to put the rubber band through. And that'll be it. I'm actually going to run it this way up. So it's got a bit of a lip that will be near the ground. Make sure I have some clearance, but that will help us to pick up whatever it is that we're trying to push. Not pick it up, but just pick it up as we go forwards. So, need to make sure that the wheels only just lift the frame up a bit. So I have to drill the holes right near the top here. Same at this end, the wheels about there somewhere. We've got a nice gap here to get hold of the axle to wrap up the rubber band, so that'll be convenient. Right, drilled my holes for the axles there, 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 and a couple of holes for the rubber bands to go around the front. Cut my tube in half. So that's the general idea. What I need to do is put some spacers to keep the wheels away from the bodywork. So got some pen tops there I can cut up. I think they're big enough just to go on the inside to keep the wheels out. 
nearly up together. Certainly the wheels in place, spacers in place. So now I need to build up the back axle to give us a bit more leverage. So I'm going to cut this bit of scrap cardboard into strips and wrap it round the back axle to make it wider. Just some ordinary sticky tape. Probably doesn't need it, but I'm just being over cautious. Right, that's me bit of cardboard wrapped around the back axle just to make it a bit wider. And a bit of barbecue skewer or whatever you want to call it, stuck in it to hook the rubber band onto. Got some rubber bands already joined together. the general idea, only it'll be the other way up when we use it. Test run time. Hopefully you can see I've got two red lines on my kitchen floor here. They are a metre apart and the project or the task is to start the car from half a metre outside a metre square and push whatever mass has been left in the square out of the square. So I'll put something in the middle between those two red lines and then I'll see if my car will push it out. Right, this is chopped tomatoes in a cardboard package. 400 grams it says, so we'll see if we can move that. quite easily. The task is to do 500 grams so I'll see if I can find something that will add another 100 grams to it. This is a 4 ounce lead weight so I'll tape that to the tomatoes that will give us just over 500 grams. There we are 500 grams in fact slightly more than 500 grams. box. So I would call that a success. Okay summary time. We've got the dinner in the oven that's why there's a bit of a hum in the background. The task was to build a car that would push a weight or a mass of up to 500 grams out of a metre square area. So this is my 400 grams of chopped tomatoes and 4 ounces of lead weight which adds up to slightly more than 500 grams. The car is a letter tray from my bargain store, cost me a pound. The axles are metal tubes that were from the garden section of the bargain store. Uh, for putting your tomatoes in a trellis thing. The wheels, the back wheels are wooden wheels that I've cut out of plywood for a previous project and I've reused them. 
because I wanted nice wide wheels to give me plenty of grip. Front wheels are CDs. Uh, wrapped some extra cardboard round the back axle to make it a bit thicker to give me better gearing. And some rubber bands. And that does the job quite easily. The front is very low to the ground so that it actually tips anything that it runs into which will reduce the friction because it will then be on an edge instead of flat. So that helps. Uh, but that's it. Job done.